Prime Minister Malta. Mr. Well, Mr. Well, I'm great honor. It was a real pleasure for me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure for us. We're honored to have you. Thank you. Mr. Yeah. Prime Minister. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Camilleri. Yeah. How would you like to Our ambassador. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yes, sir. 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 excited about finding a name that they know. That's right, or that their parents know. That's usually what happens. It's usually the adults. <laughs> So we have cartoon characters, and in the egg hunt area, we have two kind of basket shapes. I'll come. Yeah, you'll have to come. I'll come for an egg hunt. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I miss those things. But you can find one egg. You know, they can only find one because we don't, you know, we have to have enough for everybody since we have so many children. How many do you want me to sign? Oh, that's four is good. Great. Okay. Easter 89. Easter 89. <laughs> The way the show is going, we might still be here. <laughs> I just. Mm -hmm. Well, the plaza last night, they had a concert going. I didn't want to go into the theater because they were playing yeah, music. Yeah, they were. There were a lot of. Uh, they had a big stage set up over yeah. there. Yeah, okay. We're working hard. Yeah. I'm trying hard. <laughs> the president's all excited there. You know, he's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Great. I don't okay. believe this. I'm That's sitting here talking about you. Have you noticed the imperfection of our democracy? Notice one seat is about two inches higher than the other. Oh. If you walk around and see the backs of them, the president sits there. On his right is the Secretary of State. On his left, Secretary of Defense. Then the VP, me, sits right across from him. And Secretary of uh, Treasury and the Attorney General on my left and right. And then they put the names on the back of everybody. It's kind of fun. Huh? Have you seen all? Have they seen all that? Yeah. So well, they haven't heard the story like that though. Well, it's yeah. fun, but you'll notice that his president rates inch and a half taller seat or something over there. Well, I guess you. Well, how are you? To sit high. Nice to see you. You'll be sitting there. Nice to see you. Nice seeing you. Very glad. I can't to see believe you. I'm standing here raving about well, me and you walk you know, in. You know, I. Uh, <laughs> there's a certain excitement about going to the White House. I think. I've oh, yes. been here now for what? Quite a few years. And I still feel the same way driving in here. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Or literally, I came in here with rushing. I was a little late for lunch with the president. And I thought, oh, this, you know, you just sense a certain excitement about this place. Yeah, it's it's exciting. It is. Well, you don't but I wish you all the very, well, very same. best. Well, same. You very, don't need very, any yes. wishes. <laughs> Things are going good. Nice to see you. Nice sir. to see you. Indeed. I'll let you all go. And I Thank know you so much. You made me my day. Oh, <laughs> listen, the other way. Thanks. Uh, Thanks, sir. Thank we'll see you all. Mr. President, I'd like to present Nell Carter. For heaven's sake. Hello. Hello there. Nice meeting you, finally, in person. Sure. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah. That's, 
I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan. Well, I'm a fan also. I was, I was here for the inauguration, but I was the way up in the audience, and I just, I just, I'm very happy for everything you've done. Well, thank you. Very Mr. Well. President, this is Luther Henderson, the conductor for well, Amos. Well, well, very nice to meet you. Well, it's nice Indeed. to meet you. We don't well, want to call you. I just want to meet you. Well, I do the television watching. <laughs> well, I'll have a good time. You'll be my neighbor when you move back to California. I'll be the one leading over the fence. <laughs> That's me. Now, wait one second. Oh, all right. right. Oh. Yes. Just for some light reading. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you so very much. It's good to see you. And a happy life. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much, much again. I have not been able to come see you while you're here. Well, listen, well, we're going to go on for a long time. So long time. So you're the city in New York. Mm. But you get some free time. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> bye bye. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Mr. President. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Style or seven styles since I have six years. I've been having pleasure and honor. Most of the time I see you up in Newport. That's right, that's right. Well, now I am reciprocating your very kind visits. How is Mrs. Reagan? Yeah. She's just fine. She Please convey to, to her that my wife and my own uh, uh, wishes. And the, no, my wife is very fond of her. And she likes her very much. Yeah. She's a, such a charming lady. She's out of the city. She is so compassionate. And, uh, all the way much the for efforts and uh, on bribes, which is, I think, our common concern you know, trying to do our best on this particular subject. I think we are making some progress on, on bribes. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still think that the answer lies in education, that they would have the answer to take the question out of the because the are in the of the the of the is really so this act that I I hate this the famous crack. Oh, you know, that I think it is horrible, but yeah. it's so cheap. You know, I just said to you, you know, the year you said, it is this time is almost instantaneous. This time I have that in my head. Mr. President, are you prepared to force out the uh, Nicaraguan ambassador later today if it becomes necessary? We're expecting him to leave at that hour. Beyond that hour, he is here illegally. And if he uh, declines to go voluntarily? Well, uh, I don't know where he'll hide. As I say, he's illegally here beyond that period of time. We expect him to be going to the airport for it to leave. Sir, you said you were pleased with the resolution Congress passed on uh, the matters in Nicaragua, the impressions there. Uh, I'd like to ask you, do you see in Congress a growing consensus building for the position you have held all along on lethal aid to the resistance force? I'm not in a position to estimate or make any count of that. I do think uh, that there is an awareness, certainly in the par part of more of them, that what we've been saying is, is true. Do you feel, that, sir, that you have given the peace process enough of an opportunity and that, in fact, Mr. Ortega and the Sandinistas have built, in effect, done a job of building your case. I think if all of you would go back and review from the very beginning all that has taken place, you'd find that the only ones who haven't given peace a chance are the Sandinistas. Lights, please. Thank you. Mr. President, the United States is substantially in arrears on its payments to the UN. What are you going to tell the Secretary General about that issue? Well, I'm sure we're going to talk about it here. Is the U.S. ready to pay what it owes? No. Uh, we have some problems, uh, again, with the, the Congress on this. 
Thank you. Cameras, please. Yes. This is a working lunch, and I know we're as usual behind schedule. <laughs> I think we should carry on. We've had a chance to have a little discussion over in the Oval Office, and we'll get back to that subject also. But first, I'd just like to tell you how much we value your leadership in the UN and in the critical areas of the world and drug control. Some of these things we touched on between the two of us, but. Uh, we're committed to the UN and hopeful that some of the reforms that are going forward will increase the effectiveness of that group on Afghanistan. The role in the Afghan Accords of the United Nations and of you, Mr. Secretary, we expect the Soviet troops to be gone by February. We welcome, I hope I say his name right, Sadrun Daga Khan as the UN Afghan coordinator. The June meeting was instructive, and the repatriation and resettlement, uh, I think, should be one of the first steps in the Ethiopian situation. Also, the decision to allow UN aid relief workers back in the, in the north is encouraging. We thought it was a terrible and inhumane thing when they suddenly took the workers out of the area there with all of the famine that 
that they're having. But uh, 